As always, if you've watched this reaction, watched this reaction? Of course you've watched this reaction. Heya, and welcome back to the channel. So I've just finished watching the first episode of The Fall of the House of Usher, which is Mike Flanagan's new Netflix show. Um, really good, really enjoying it already. I kind of did a, a basic recap on at the end of that video, so I don't think there's a lot of need to, to kind of do another one. I'm really just quite keen to jump in and find out what's going on, honestly. Um, I do have a pillow this time, so that's good. So yeah, let's jump in. This is The Fall of the House of Usher, episode two. You found it like this. Didn't touch anything, did you? No, sir. There have been five, five graves exhumed in the last four weeks, five corpses missing, all people who were part of that drug trial. I've had issues with you people in the past. You people? Oh, damn, off is still white as cream cheese, in case you're worried we're evading. If you could take all of it, all the greed, the foulness, the rot in the world, and sit down across from it, what would you say? Was it ever going to be enough over the years? I've talked to a lot of people who've taken your drugs, soccer moms, accountants with carpal tunnel. Fast forward a year, they're shooting up heroin behind dumpsters. Do you know how much ligodone my wife takes every day? Wasn't your wife a heroin addict before you met? You knew the extended release formulation created abuse potential. You knew it was highly addictive. You marketed it non-addictive anyway because you wanted more. Mm. My question, was it ever going to be enough? That's an idiot question. Of course not. But we aren't here to talk about that. We are here to talk about... Oh shit, was that somebody behind him? My son. That is somebody behind him. Oh my god. So Frederick told me before the end he thought Perry was your informant, that he was giving you the information. Was he? Because it really doesn't matter now. Not since I killed him. I'm sorry? I know how Prospero died. Are you saying that was somehow your fault? Perry was the first of my children to die. And I know you think you know how that happened, but you don't. So the first thing you have to understand about my son is that he was, if nothing else, crazy. Just letting it all hang out. That was the one that was trying to open the bar or the club. <sighs> Yet. <laughs> hey, where are my eggs? Did you eat my fucking eggs? They were gulls eggs. Black-headed gulls eggs. They're only in season for about three weeks a year. If I push this in, you can't take it out. You have to leave it in on the way to the hospital or else we'll just get worse. Babe, no one touched your eggs. Jesus, had me going there. Go. Oh. <laughs> Here they are. I found them. Huh? Who's Dickwad? This is my brother Frederick. I got nipples. We at Fortunato take our responsibility to the environment very seriously. Okay, that's not true. And you didn't return my calls until your company was indicted. Sorry, I'm late. I got. <clears throat> Hit by a truck. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. This is my brother, Prospero. What's this? This is a collection of condemned Fortunato testing facilities. Holy shit, we own all of these? Are you acknowledging ownership? Of course he isn't. What's the problem with these? Demolish it as soon as possible. You've been saying that. But we keep having the same Don't meeting. Don't tear them down just yet. If this one is ours, I want to see it. It's perfect for this idea I <laughs> can, had. Can I talk to you for a moment? Debauchery. Can I talk to you for a moment? What the fuck are you doing? I'm getting another family business, like Dad said. You're supposed to be shadowing me. Shadows don't fucking talk. They don't speak. And they don't fucking acknowledge the allegations. We're throwing a party. Here. 
tomorrow night, no holds barred, anonymous debauchery social event that changes venues every month. And you won't know where it is unless you're on the list. And the list is fucking exclusive. Sex and drugs are the theme. The orgy starts at midnight. Who was that? That doesn't seem like it's going to go exactly as he thinks it's going to go, somehow. A little coke, a little pick-me-up or a check-me-out. Yeah, I'm your guy. But I'm not a fucking cartel. I can't supply your whole fucking race. But you know people who move that kind of weight. Dad doesn't believe me and the rest just make fun of me. But I blow the roof off this thing and I print seven figures out of thin air. Maybe I get a fraction of the respect that's supposed to come with this name. It's harder for me and you know that. You know that. I get it, I get it, I get it. Look, you're gonna pull this off, all right? I mean, you've got this. Half your guests are gonna be holding, half are gonna be rolling before they even get there. But whatever the fuck goes down after that is on them, not you. Oi, look at me. This shouldn't be on you. You're better than a dealer. You're smarter than a DJ. All right, this is beneath you. You're better than all of this. And the minute you figure that out, bruv, you're gonna be unstoppable. That's the sort of brother you want, isn't it? I, I was concerned that this particular doctor was running a pill mill. Was any action taken? Look into this witness stand, the drug rep. See if you can find something. And if you can't find something, we may have to just find something. How was your day? Sorry, if somebody talked to the feds, they were really smart about it. I know. The ushers aren't idiots. Except Perry. Get me Vic's file and Juno's. You're still thinking Victorine's the informant? Maybe. It could be Perry, a little psycho. And I also want to look at Juno, but there's something that stinks about Vic's clinical trial. That might be the feds way in. If they have something on our heart mesh thing, can you poke at that? Talk to lab techs, bribe, threaten, mix and match. Man, what did she do to you? I'm sorry, what was that? Um, nothing. I hate my sister too, but never mind. forget I said anything. I will. Yo, how's the water? Well, taps off. The municipal line's closed off. What about the sprinklers? Those are dry. Bullshit, they're dripping on my phone. They might sweat a little, they're old enough, but there's no pressure. I, I can call the city, see if we can time the municipal line. Dry ass party. Yeah, works less well. You know, these testing facilities need their own filtered water. You guys saw those tanks on the roof when we walked in, yes? Okay, cool. We just tie in, like hooking up a hot tub. Because remember the golden rule. Whoever has the gold makes the... What was that? Uh, sorry, sorry. The whole joke, the whole joke I told him once. Remember the golden rule. It was in a comic book. Oh, God. I just noticed the figure behind the... Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, God. Stout little kings. Absolutely not. Over his subjects. One oh. Making a proclamation. Remember the golden rule. And what's that? <laughs> and in the last little word bubble, it says, whoever has the gold makes the... Shit! So oh good! Fuck! Oh. Are you alright? I don't know who that was. That was his son, wasn't it? Prospero. You remember Grizz, don't you? All of this really starts there. And no more cops. He has one job for Christ's sake. He's a glorified fucking gardener. I just need him to dig. Mr. Griswold is right for you. Roderick Usher. When was the last time you had a headache? Uh, yesterday? This morning? Got one right now. So, let me introduce you to Ligadone. A reformulated opioid coated in a proprietary synthetic to slow absorption. And not just for the ICU. This is for mom and dad and little Timmy's scraped knee. Non-addictive. We buy Lander Pharma. 
The infrastructure's already up and running. We get this to market and we usher in a new world because this world needs changing. Really? I mean, yes, there are things that need changing, but not that. A world without pain. That's pretty good. That's no, not just good, it's imminent. Well, <laughs> interesting. Fortunato won't just be a medical care company. Fortunato will be a miracle. And you will be the new messiah. <sighs> My mother, she used to work here. She sat on that desk that Susan's on right now. She gave her life to this company. She was in agony, daily pain, every minute. And I saw all of it and I knew it did not have to be that way. Yes, of course, you'll, you'll make billions doing this, that's true. But that's not why you do it. So they haven't got the company yet then. I completely missed that. I wonder, maybe it's time to move on from that place. I mean, I know there's a connection for you there because of your mom and, and I, I guess your dad too. Oh, you told her. Vomit. <sighs> I quit my job today. Rufus Griswold is going to help us go forward or we're gonna go right through him. Jesus, Madeline. When you get going, you get going. I was just thinking the same. This isn't about building a chat bot. It's about legacy. And they tried all this stuff, mummification, pyramids, but speaking of mummification, this is straight from Egypt. They would take this and pull the brain out up the nose and pick out the brains bit by bit it is a new piece for my immortality collection and i really hope we don't see that used later on Fuck. Uh, i just had to drop this off for roderick what no it's nothing no what well i'm throwing a party tonight not a good idea See, it's an old world masquerade, anonymous debauchery. And then at midnight, the rain's gonna fall and we're all gonna dance and fuck and feel more alive in five minutes than Freddy ever will. You should come. Hold on. I probably don't want that going to your real phone, so. I'll send it on this. It's a burner. I go through them like fucking Kleenex. Wait for a text or, I don't know, throw it away. Oh, this is the girl that they put off earlier. So I am thinking a romantic dinner tonight. He can serve you food, romance, an intimate dinner, like a, a good date. Oh good, you got the clothes right. And I brought out a black teddy or red lace. We'll get to that later. Go ahead. How was your day? It was tough. I worked very hard. I'm sorry. You worked too hard. You look beautiful tonight. <laughs> Anything? We've got failures into the staff at the testing facility. Damn it, Toby. There's rumors they're using some kind of unapproved paralytic powder in the surgeries. Yawn. And we're thinking maybe there's an angle to play on the biological waste disposal. What are these two doing? She's up to something. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling that some people can just like have too much money? Hey, you two. I'm a. So I'm headed out. Oh, we've got this. Have fun. Shit, she's going. Cool arcade stuff there. Although I suppose it's the sitting room? Bar? Have fun with the ships. Absolutely no phones. Cameras.
He's seen her, hasn't he? This is not going to end well. More of, might end well for him, but not anybody else. Hey, look for people with the red glow sticks around their necks. They got the good shit. And uh, try one of the bedrooms. We have 12 of them. I'll find you later. Is he here? Her dad's a congressman. This guy, he's a draft pick. And if you look real close. Uh, that isn't who I think it is. Yeah. Fuck. This, this is the real business. This party's worth 2.5, but this footage, after the rain starts, it's worth a whole lot fucking more. Freddy's afraid to go on elevators. Did you know that? Then somehow he marries that. Oh, but a fuck his entire world. I mean, it's not. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that was gonna be a piercing or something. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna need my pillow in a second. I had the feeling that person wasn't invited. Oh shit. Who are you? Thought you'd never catch up. You didn't answer my question. Who are you? I know everybody here. I chose this guest list very carefully, and I have no idea who you are. You can take off your mask, Prospero. I know everyone here. It's my kind of party. It's yours too, isn't it? You like it? I do. Tell me. And don't lie. Is it everything you wanted it to be? Not yet. Almost. Nearly realized he's the sweetest. It's better, I promise. Just before than in the moment after. You are consequence, Mary. And tonight, you are consequential. We could have had fun, you and me. Could have. Hey. Wait. What's going on? This isn't going to be good, is it? That's not water. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, is that acid? Oh, God. Oh no. You beautiful boy. Oh, that was absolutely foul. Oh. Oh. That episode was definitely a lot slower than the first one, which, you know, which is fine. Like, you get that the first episode has to be, like, the grabby one. It You know, it, it sets stuff up, but it also has to be the one that, like, intrigues you enough to kind of watch on. So it doesn't really surprise me that this one's a little bit slower. And honestly, out of all the Usher kids we've seen, Prospero's probably the one that I was the least interested in. Maybe that's because he's, like, a completely new actor or like new to this 
it's like series of shows so i i'm not quite as invested whereas like even though i don't know the other characters yet because i know the actors or i recognize the actors from the other shows i think i feel a little bit more invested in them from the start so i think that might be why this episode felt a little bit slower but yeah, no, overall, I think it was really, really good. I mean, obviously, we've now seen the the first <laughs> death, which was absolutely foul. But I'm quite glad it was, there was like a definite reason for it. I mean, there wasn't because it was supposed to be water that came out of the sprinklers, not whatever sort of acid that was. But you kind of could see what killed him and killed everybody else, basically. It wasn't like a ghost or like something supernatural. Although arguably she is supernatural i don't know who she is or what she is but she's obviously something so presumably it's her that kills all the kids but as to why that is i don't know but yeah it was it's it's i think as well the this episode was quite good at showing you literally just the shitness of having that much money like you know that there does come to a point where what do you actually do when you've got that much money that, that you literally just couldn't spend it? I mean, and clearly these people are just deciding to sleep with anybody and everybody and bring people into fuck every night. And it's just like, I don't know, I'd probably spend it all on books or games or something. But, you know, each to their own, I guess. You know, in all seriousness, it was it was good at showing... I was going to say the shallowness, but I don't even know if it's shallowness. I feel like they're all missing something, honestly. Like, they're all obviously striving for, like, human contact. And they're going for the, the most obvious type of intimate human contact, which is obviously just shagging people. But it does kind of beg the question that they are all very, like, they're not very sort of well-adjusted adults, necessarily. Not that, you know, if you want to have lots of sex that you're maladjusted or anything, because that doesn't always follow but in this case it just felt a little bit extreme and I just remember that bit which I'm very glad I, I went and got me pillow because when Roderick Usher was talking to his lawyer back at the house and that what we now know as Prospero was like I didn't notice him at first but he was like coming towards him behind the chair and then he just kind of came around the chair and it was just like oh my god would you just not please because that is just horrible and it was freaking me out and then, like, when we got the close-up of Roderick's face, I knew that he was going oh, he was gonna be in the next shot. And it was just like, oh, my God. That sort of shit just freaks me out, honestly. It really freaks me out. And it's so good, but it's like, oh, God. So, yeah. But I'm, I'm imagining we're probably going to get a lot more kind of things like that. But, yeah, it was, it was really enjoyable. And I am very keen to find out what happens in the next few episodes. As always, if you've enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to do the subscribe -y thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.